about the scat pack why is it why i think is a better buy than a hellcat the reason i think the scat pack is uh a better body to Hellcat because essentially you can use all the power. I can't use all of this power. I can't use all that power. But in the scat pack, you can you can essentially use all that that the power in the scat pack and be and be fairly safe with it if you really know what you're doing. I mean, you're gonna smoke those tires for sure. You're gonna smoke the tires. That's a fact, without a doubt. You're gonna smoke the tires. But when it comes to usable horsepower, like putting the horsepower down and all that i think the scat pack is better than the hellcat as far as streets wise i mean, like on the streets that the, the scat pack is just better it's like a it's a, it's a you get a better i think you get a better bang for the buck you know i had a I had a scat pack or 392 i mean I, i'll show a little video of it I had an orange uh, daytona 392 which is a scat pack just a upper tier upper upper level upper trim if you want to say and um After owning this Hellcat, the Scat Pack was probably a little bit, it was a little bit more, it's definitely a more efficient car because you, on, off the rip, the gas mileage is somewhat different. I mean, you, you get more money on the, uh, the gas mileage. I think you get more money on the gas mileage. Being that I was still getting, I still get about 16 miles a gallon on, on my Hellcat and I was getting like 16 in my Scat because I was getting 16 in the scat because I was I was I didn't really I don't really be pushing the car like most people do. I don't really push this Hellcat like I could. I don't, every time I get in it, I don't press on the gas, and go crazy. I'm not always doing this. I'm not always doing that. So, but if you are that type of person, the scat pack would be better for you because a Hellcat, if you press on that gas for too long. You have a full tank it look like a quarter tank before you know it <laughs> and one day you can burn through a tank of gas trying to show out i know i know i've done it you can burn it you'll burn through a whole tank of gas and not have not have even went 20 miles in the day you don't burn through a whole tank of gas because you're trying to punch it flying everywhere with the scat pack i mean you burn through some gas but it just ain't it's just a more better daily driver car than this than a hellcat it's a better driver, you know, you get a better bang for your buck. I mean, it looks just like a Hellcat. It's no different. The look is no, essentially no different. That's between slim body and wide body. They both look the same. It's the same car. Only thing different is the motor and the badging. If you took the badging off of Scat Pack and a Hellcat, you wouldn't even know the difference. You wouldn't even know the difference. You had to really look closely, especially if you get the Scat Pack with the six piston Brembo's and the uh, big wheels, the 20 inch wheels and all that, you wouldn't even know the difference. You would, you would think that was a Hellcat if you debadge it. But you would know it wasn't a Hellcat when it went up against the Hellcat. But it's definitely better on gas. Definitely better on gas. And on insurance purposes, woo, you're going to save a shit ton of money. You're going to save a, sh a shoot ton of money. I ain't going to say it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cuss as much. You can save a lot of money on insurance because they knock fire from your insurance with a Hellcat. Heck, they're going to knock fire from you if you got a scat pack. So you know for sure they're going to knock fire from you with a Hellcat. They, was not, they wasn't really knocking fire from me because I got it, multiple vehicles, so they can't really go crazy on me like they want to. Because believe me, the insurance company, if they had it, if it was up to them, they'd go crazy on me. But they know I got multiple vehicles, two motorcycles, and what's that, four cars? Something like that, four cars, something like that. Yeah, four cars. So yeah, they got to give me a god deal, or they know I, I'm gonna go somewhere where they give me a god deal. But if you only got one vehicle, and uh, if you got a Hellcat and you young, you looking at four five hundred dollars on insurance, especially in a Hellcat Scat Pack. You probably looking at three four hundred, three four hundred dollars. Let's say a Hellcat, anywhere from five hundred to five to seven. If you young, I'm talking about twenty, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Since so Scat Pack, you're looking at about three, four hundred dollars, five, maybe five hundred dollars, depending on how young you are. When you do the in the grand scheme of things, that's a lot of money. You can be saving monthly on just insurance. Seven hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. That's a three hundred. I put up six and six, but that's a three hundred dollar difference. You tell me. You do the math. Which one is better? And the Scat Pack, like I said, is is not as fast as the Hellcat, but it's just as fun. 
it's just as fun. You smoke the tires just like you can smoke a Hellcat tires from one block to block. You can do the same thing in the Scat Pack. It's faster than 90% of the vehicles on the road. You look better than 90% of the vehicles on the road. And if you're in a Hellcat or a Scat Pack, even in the Scat Pack, you're going to get just as many oohs and ahs as you get in the Hellcat because it ain't a lot of people riding around in the Scat Packs. Even though it's a lot of Scat Packs out there, you don't see a lot of Scat Packs. Like, you don't see a lot of them on the road. Like, ooh, they're going to love Scat Pack. They're going to, it, you don't see it. It's rare that you see it. I ain't going to say it's rare, but you probably see maybe one or one Scat Pack a day, maybe two. That's from where I'm from. Now, it could be different in them big, big major cities. It could be big difference i'm pretty sure it's super different in detroit and places like that but um yeah it's a nice car it's just a nice car i had one i'm telling you it's a nice car it's no different than this hellcat that i got i mean i, I had the 392 it was it was the, the ride was no different it was no the, I, I feel i would if i got in this car and i never been in a hellcat or a scat pack and i didn't if i didn't punch it to the max they know it was a hellcat I wouldn't be able to tell the difference because everything inside looks the same. It looks the same. Everything inside looks the same. So if if I was a person and I was just if I was trying to save money but I wanted to go fast, but I was trying to save money at the same time, I would definitely get a scat pack. Because I like scat packs. Great car. Great car. Fun. Exciting. You get your races in. Not condoning racing, but I'm just saying you can get some legal races in the track. I'm pretty sure it's a, put the power down. You can run 11s, 12s. I'm, I'm just saying I never did bit on the track, so I don't really know. But I know you can run some good runs in the Scat Pack. But like I said, you're going to get respect to whatever car show you go to. You're definitely going to get respect. And you can mod it just like a Hellcat. I'm talking about cosmetically and make it look just as good as a Hellcat. Because they are identical twins. Hellcat and the Scat Pack are identical twins. It's just one of them stronger than the other one when it comes to power-wise, the power band. So for those who are wondering, is, 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 should I get a scat pack over the Hellcat? Yeah, if you're trying to save some money, hell yeah, go and get that scat pack. You won't be disappointed. You will not be disappointed in the scat pack. Be it may, I ain't going to sit here in front. I believe the scat pack should have a little more horsepower than it's got. I, I would rather have like 520. 525 something like that instead of 485 i think it should have came with 525 but it is what it is or just 507 that'd have been nice too but 20 more horsepower just you can feel the difference but it's still fast it's still a fast ungodly fast car it's still insanely fast it's still super crazy back in my day 485 horsepower was unbelievable hell in today's time is unbelievable you still outrunning any regular vehicle run up against you. You outrunning some BMWs and Mercedes, so can't go wrong with a scat pack. Can't go wrong. If somebody say you it's, it's whack, scat packs are whack, they probably never own one. They just jealous or they just die hard for it or Chevy fans or whatever other kind of car they like. Now you ain't outrunning no little bitty Subarus. Them little cars are just they you they they can keep up with you. If they boost them, they, you definitely can't keep up with They definitely going to smoke you. But for bang for buck, Scat Pack. Roomy interior. Excellent on gas mileage. I had a Scat Pack. It's excellent on gas mileage as long as you ain't rapid starting. Every time you stop, you punch it on the gas. Great on gas. Definitely a looker. Can't go wrong with the looks of a Scat Pack. That B, is, it always look good when you see somebody ride past with that B on the side. 392, baby. So can't go wrong with a scat pack hell you can't go wrong with a hellcat either but we talking about a scat pack can't go wrong great on gas like i said great on gas fairly expensive car but not as expensive as it should be being it's got all that horsepower all the horsepower that scat pack got it should cost way more money than what it costs so it's definitely and i ain't gonna say inexpensive because it is an expensive car but you get your bang for your buck you won't be disappointed be it may, they do need to update the interior. <laughs> they do need to update the interior. But at the same time, it's still up to date. To It's up to par to what it, to all these other cars. It's not like the interior is below all these other cars. But with that being said, hey, I appreciate y'all joining me today, man. Make sure you browse and comment on all my uh, videos. 
share them, tell a friend about me. Hell. And if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. It is what it is. I ain't gonna be mad at you. I'm still gonna fool with you. Even if you come up to me like, I gave your last video thumbs down. I'm still gonna fool with you, baby. I ain't gonna be no hater, baby. I ain't no hater. But like I said, man, the Scat Pack is a wonderful vehicle. Can't go wrong with a Scat Pack. I own one and I love it. I loved it. I ain't gonna say I love it. I loved it. Great car. Like I said, great on gas, fast. Definitely a definitely eye candy, eye catching. Very easily, easy to cosmetically mod to make the car your own. Very comfortable riding car. And like I said, it looks just like a Hellcat, but it just ain't got the Hellcat motor and it's got a little bit different badging. Other than that, nobody would know. And believe me, if you pull up you pull up next to somebody in a scat pack, they are definitely going to look at your car. As you ride past, they're going to look. I know. I owned one. But with that being said, big shout out to the Werewolf Gang. Yo. Much love to the light crew. You already know how I feel about you. Big shout out to your boy, T Light. Oh, yeah. Try to give y'all a little bit of pull. A little pull. But man, there's some haters in front of me. I can't really give y'all no pull. Because we got these haters in front of me. They, they going all slow. Let's see if I can't get on their little ass real quick. Let's see if I can't get on their ass real quick. They probably like, man, what's he doing? <laughs> they probably like, what's he doing? <laughs> but with that being said, I know y'all heard that popping too. The popcorn. Pop, 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 pop. Oi, T light. And I'm out this piece. Jidig.